Fellas, a few weeks ago, we went over some really bad Kickstarters, and I said, if you guys liked that video, then we would do another one. Don't laugh, this is a lot for me. This is a big number for me. Don't laugh at me. And because of that, we're gonna do it again. I got some more bad Kickstarters. Let's take a look, shall we? That's my new thing. That's my, I just decided, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go, shall we? I'm making potato salad. Six, nine, 11 backers pledged $55,000 to bring this project to life? Bring it to life? For $55,000? Basically, I'm just making potato salad. I haven't decided what kind of, they don't even know what they're gonna do with the product? They don't even have a clear vision and they got that much. To make the cutting edge familiar and the familiar cutting edge all right i haven't seen any dates on this this feels very uh 2015 humor to me i'm gonna guess 2015 2014 oh so it was 2014 okay yeah see there you go <laughs> There, 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 was, there was this era when everybody was playing with these new platforms and just trying to make this kind of show, although this is very well produced. Damn, he turned this into a whole event. Something about this feels wrong. The backers are getting what they paid for. Uh, pictures, I guess? <laughs> My ass would have been just taking a picture of some store-bought potato salad... Uh, it, with my phone. Ta-da! Everything went great. Thanks, everybody, for the $55,000. It sucks you can't do this now. First person to do this makes $55,000. Second person to do this gets laughed at. He asked for 10 bucks. Wait, did he? I didn't know he asked for $10. Oh. <laughs> A phone case that makes coffee? That's not bad. If it holds coffee, that's... Why would you... No, you don't want your phone to be hot. <laughs> Your phone would overheat. I don't know. I don't know if that's good. Let me. I let me. I'm. I'm withholding judgment. Let me see the product. Right in the wrong, so to see Show me the product, please. If I was Kevin O'Leary, I would throw them out of the room. Finally, a way to keep scalding liquid near my cock and balls. Yeah, I was just pouring that shit in my pocket, but this is way better. <laughs> Consider it's software. If a handsome, bumbling Italian man walks up to you on the street and says, uh, "Would you like some coffee?" and then pours it out of his phone, do not do that. I, I hope she has a phone that can detect uh, liquid and make sure that it is untampered with. She dips her phone in the coffee. Aha! It's blue. <laughs> You're going to jail. The best thing about this shot is that there's definitely just somebody else off camera just dumping like a thermos behind the phone. Show me where it's coming out, bro. Come on. Come on, big brother. Show me where is that coming out of, big man? Designed by a totally made in Italy team of engineers, designers. Why <laughs> these two? Okay, these two extremely handsome young men, along with their coworker, uh, an, an attractive young woman, uh, they made this? This co-investitor? <laughs> Is everybody in Italy gorgeous? Okay, how does it make the coffee? I see that it says it warms it. Is it just a thermos you put on your phone? So <laughs> you have to dump the coffee. You have to leave your house and dump the coffee into your phone for later. It's 25 milliliters. See, I don't know how much that is. <laughs> 30 milliliters is an ounce. What? <laughs> Less than an ounce of coffee? Dude, you need a, that's if you need a shot now, just <laughs> funding suspended. <laughs> Kickstarter actually blocked that shit like a shot. Get that shit out of here. Ever find a pretty girl on the street and say, hey, you want some coffee and then pour some? <laughs> anyway, this is the Spoonie. Bonjour, je me présente, je m'appelle Jacques et aujourd'hui... Oh no. A European. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah? That looks like a weapon in Fallout 4. It looks like an airplane. What? Vaguely? It looks like JJ, like a JJ the Jet Plane character. Here comes the airplane! So instead of, instead of blowing on the spoon, the spoon blows on itself. Yeah, because when you blow on it, there's lots of bacteria. See all these bugs? Ew! Use la puissance de ventilation. Augmenter la diminuez. Can I get the turbocharged one? So you're just blowing ob obscenely hot, scalding soup in your baby's face? <laughs> 
Not a bad product, I don't... Well, okay. Who would buy this? I don't know who would purchase this. But, but, if you were in the market for such a thing, right? Just saying. Box the smart bottle opener. I actually see a use for this, and it's very sad. <laughs> yeah, alcoholic detected. Yep, yep. He's off the wagon again. <laughs> Cry for help, yeah. Okay. You can... Um, you, if you ever open up another bottle, everybody will know. And you will be shamed. And you're gonna get... This is an ankle monitor. Yeah, basically, yeah. Bottle opener. By the way, this is very loud at this volume. How high do you think this goes? Here we go. New way of thinking what a bottle opener can do. Introducing Bottle Opener X. God damn! We made great effort in designing box so you can hold it comfortably. I love stock footage. I love stock footage of people doing work. That shit has a battery in it? <laughs> what? Box is fitted with a Dude. smart chip to connect with your phone through Wi-Fi. Its innovative feature will seamlessly share that moment with your friends. <laughs> yeah, somebody probably got this and it bugged out and it sent to everybody on their messenger list. <laughs> He's drinking again. Dude, it's gonna fucking... It's gonna send a notification every time you do it. You're eight beers in and somebody's like, Hey, somebody's gotta go check up on Greg. Hey, Greg is like 12 millers deep. What? We gotta check him out. Imagine seeing someone's page and it's their last 10 messages. Yeah, exactly. Like, hey, uh, are you guys okay? Something is going on with uh, with Tommy. Wait, they, they count how many? They don't do it individually. They, like, compile them together. So if you got, like, 10 of them, it would, like, be 10 beers at home. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> PM somewhere on Earth for beer. <laughs> Pop that shit open. Your alcoholic friend who's trying really hard to stay uh, on the narrow path is just depressed, just staring at it. Wait, it, was this at the doctor's? What the fuck is this? What What is this guy doing? This guy has a problem. Why is he doing that there? Oh, because his arm is in a sling. He can only use one hand. Doctor prescribed. You need a couple brewskis, stat. The one-handed opener is neat. I don't know why it has to be connected. Way to let all your friends know you have a drinking problem without actually having to say it. See, that was the angle I saw. That's not that's not a bad icebreaker, right? You're friends with somebody, and then you're, like, talking back and forth, and then you pop one at home, and it tells her, and you're like, oh, sorry, that was my thing. And she's like, what's that? And you tell her about it, she's like, oh, that's kind of stupid. And maybe she'll just stop being interested in you because you bought this stupid fucking product. But maybe it's like, oh, that's cool. What did you get? And then you talk back and forth, right? Maybe. There's a chance. That's what I like to hear. Yup. Or two ice cubes in four minutes. Let's see. Yup. Damn, that is small. All right, you plug that shit in. Plug in the ice maker. Yes, cultivate the ice. Merely four minutes is all it takes for a perfect cube. Just kidding, it's seven and a half. <laughs> it's more like an ice waffle. It's so small. Oh, yeah, that shit is melting immediately. Ice McRib. I'm about to buy one and then show it off at a science fair. This shit go crazy at science competitions. Yeah, dude, I would buy this and be like, I made this. I would get the blue ribbon first place. I made an ice cube maker. How'd you do it? Uh, say hello to hash key, a dedicated one key keyboard for the hashtag. This is so 2015, 2015, right? 2014, I should have guessed even earlier. You know what's nuts? You remember that pandemic uh, craze when, like, inventors started making uh, external mute buttons? Like, they made a killing on that. You don't know what I'm talking about? Hold on. Physical mute button for Zoom. It's illuminated. This was huge, huge during the pandemic. Never heard of it? Dude, these were big. They were all over. And, and, and people bought them. Perfect seizing of the market. Genuinely. Dude, I, honestly, if I was a boomer and I had no idea what I was doing on Zoom calls, I might buy one too. Better that than saying something that's going to ruin your career, right? Hashtag getting my cookie on. Hashtag I'm the real cookie monster. Hashtag no, 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 no. Delicious, right? Hashtag I did it all for the cookie. Hashtag LOL, 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 I hate Jimmy Fallon. Do you? I don't, I think, I think, I think Jimmy is trying as hard as he can. I, I don't I, I don't think Jimmy's a bad guy. I think he's really trying. James Corden, I want to go to hell. 
I, I was James Corden in nothing but pain and misery. I, something about James Corden just is so off-putting to me. I don't know what it is. Jimmy Fallon reminds me of the guy that hosts the Hunger Games. <laughs> Thank God. There, there were two ways this would go. It didn't get funded or it hit like 8 billion. Just take my money, kind sir. Jimmy Fallon is cool. Did you guys see his super cool board ape? Th he was doing a bounty, guys. I think this is a bounty. And the bag was immeasurable. Coney would do it if he was paid like that. I done told you guys. If a crypto sponsor came in for $10 million for a month, it would be crypto month. Crypto May on the Coney stream. And then we would never talk about it again. You guys don't have to buy shit. I just have to tell you about it. That's the job. $10,000 to send your DNA to the future? What? In the future, human cloning will be a reality. Yeah. Legal, regulated, safe. Wait. You send yourself to the future and then you create a clone in the future. Dude. Send me to the fucking Ark. Eight people are going to the Ark. You're going to be so sad when you aren't on the Ark with all of us. We're all partying on the last ship. You'll be dead. But what if you could live? Unfortunately, it'll be too late for you. You'll be dead. Yeah, I got the implication. You'll be dead too, lady. Yeah, what the fuck's your problem? <laughs> you could live again. Come back for a second round with your soulmate, your children, your best friends. It goes on DNA gene bank time capsule. Enough oh to grow God. another you and anybody with you. This is like the... I feel like I could see this intro in a game like Prey 2, right? This is like an arcane game intro. <laughs> Just collect a few hairs. Easy. Some nail clippings. Very easy. Or a tooth or bone fragment. Where do I get those? I don't know where I'm getting a bone or a, a tooth, really. I shouldn't do that. I am getting a tooth removed, I, I guess. My wisdom teeth. I, I guess a, a tooth is a small price to pay for immortality, right? We're going to the art. Seal your capsule and deposit it anywhere. At sea. Anywhere. Buried in the backyard. On the mantle as a tribute to your life and the lives of those you love. What? Nothing is lost forever. And someday an archaeologist, a scuba diver, a backyard explorer will find your capsule. And that unique sequence of DNA that is you will get a second chance at life. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Cut out your hair. Clip off your nails, take out your tooth, and bury it in the backyard. And and hope, pray, that someone will know what to do with it. Pray that you get dug up in 500 years. Just imagine what your future holds. Uh, yeah, man. I, wait, so what's the product? Is it just a box? You, you just made a ball. I thought they were sending, like, an institute that you send this shit to. No, it's just a ball. Sick, man. Uh-huh. Couldn't I just buy a box or 3D print? Oh, not the clip art of Einstein. This dude is selling nobody. This is like anti-riz for, for marketers. A clip art Einstein? What are you doing? Pretty good. Would it make more sense to send only the sequence of your genome? Check out this fucking dork. Check out this piece of work. Geek. I just love that it's just a ball. <laughs> It's just a ball that you bury wherever you want. They don't even tell you where to go. Nothing is being sent to the future. You spit in a glass vial and seal it in a rubber ball, and this means your future someone will do some vague science stuff. Fuck yeah. Yeah, who's gonna, like, find that in the future and be like, hmm, I know what I should do with this. Make a new person. I should make a whole new person with this ball of teeth and hair. Video game developer raises $120,000 for his game, Unforgotten Quest. Was fully funded in 2012, said the game will be finished in two years. This game has not been released and doesn't ever release date. I, I, there's got to be a million of these, right? Oh my god. They deserved it. The same year as Borderlands 2, Dishonored, Far Cry 3... Max Payne 3, Mass Effect 3. Damn, a lot of 3s. Resident Evil 6, there's a giraffe getting a blowjob. <laughs> Jump scare. If you guys have I saw somebody commented on that video recently. Uh, on that, on the video that I talked about that. They're like, oh, now I can't unsee it. So it's fresh in my mind. Hey, if you were that commenter, this one's for you. 
that commenter, they just commented like two days ago. They're going to be like, oh, son of a bitch, not again. <laughs> that guy, very bold to put your face on this. That guy probably got harassed. This is an update. <laughs> yeah. I guess it did. Wait, this is Unforgotten Quest. Wait, is this two? Is this the same one? Yes. Okay. It failed. Video unavailable. Private. So th there was a time where a lot of people were like, I'll just make a game. And then they realize how hard it is. Right? Like, they'll be like, I want to do that. I'm going to put an idea up on Kickstarter and make a million dollars. And then it's like, oh, <laughs> that shit kind of hard, actually. Oh, wait a minute. That shit not easy. Yeah, a lot of people just wanted to make a game. They are like, I bet I could get a lot of money this way, but they had no idea. Well, this guy, I don't know. That's not even true, because there, there's clearly something here. It looks like dog shit, but they had a vision. When is your game, Coney? I'm working on it. Twisted Metal Battle Royale. It's coming. One day. I'm making it. All right, that was all the Kickstarters, but we got some honorable mentions. Shoutouts to Juicero, which was on, it was a $400 juicer, right? This was on Kickstarter. I remember this. You would put the juice bag in there, and it would juice for you. Mmm. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, the, it was supposed to be $200. Not as bad. Who remembers Mighty Number no. 9 from up. the creator of Mega Man? From Mega Man's no. dad, oh. Inafune. I think that's how you say it. He constructed Mega Man for... Damn, this is convincing. Oh, it, it really is convincing. From the ground up, Mighty Number no. 9 is coming to change the industry. Mighty Number no. 9 will change gaming in a way never seen before. Oh, no! Oh, no! What happened? Mighty Number no. 52. Oh, the $4 million, Keith! $4 million! What did you do? Did I call him Keith? Was that his name? <laughs> KG. <laughs> Why did I say Keith? It was K-E-I. <laughs> I think I... I don't know why I filled that in. KG! Four million dollars! What? Oh, they even have a PayPal page with 200k on it! KG, no! I felt so smug for not backing this game. I felt so goddamn intelligent. I knew better. I knew that wouldn't be good. Ouya too. I thought that Ouya would be bad too. I just, I guessed. I was like, that shit's not gonna be good. I guess it's just easier to say that. So happy Bloodstained came out well. Not for me. I had it on Switch. You ever play that game on Switch? I didn't realize this was a real game. I thought people were playing a joke on me. Like, I thought people were, like, memeing. Like, LOL, Bloodstained is so good. And I was like, haha, yeah, it sucks, right? But it looks good on other systems. This trailer. Let me ask you a question. Do you like awesome things that are awesome? <laughs> I forgot. The pizza explosions. It looks like a pizza pie. Oh, it looks like pizza. I remember that. See, that's your dash move. There's a short dash, a long dash, jump dash, spiral, slide. There's probably a dash that makes you breakfast. I don't know. Great idea. Wait, what? Point is. Dude, that was six years ago? That's all? It feels so much older. Oh, my God. We really were in a, uh, in a comedy recession during this time. I love it. Oh, and look at this. There's all these combo moves you can do. Then you can do combos on combos to rack up your score. Hey, 6.3k likes, though, on 2 million views. <laughs> yeah, no, zero dislikes. They love it. W. <laughs> this game kind of looks sick. It's not. The 3DS is still available for pre-order. Wait, what? January 1st, 2025. Only a year and a half left, guys. Very soon. You want to get it. It's going to sell out quickly. Fellas, thanks for checking out more bad Kickstarters. I love this. Maybe we'll do it again soon or just check out other Reddits. I had a good time. Hey, shout outs to the mods Keen and uh, Ecompton. Let's give it up. Let's give it up. For, uh, Drake it up for the mods that make this possible. Thanks, Keen and Ecompton. Comment and like below, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, YouTube viewer. And only YouTube viewer. Goodbye. Subscribe, please.